If you're running into an error that reads, this version of Vanguard requires secure boot to be enabled in order to play, I have just a solution for you. All right, I apologize for the absolutely abhorrent quality of the video, but this is how I'm gonna have to show you this. Um, so once you have your computer like this, you just wanna restart it, right? You wanna click on your menu and you just wanna click on restart. It'll take you to your restart screen, just like so. You want to give it a second to restart and it'll take you to the boot menu or the the booting screen where your computer's logo your motherboard's logo will show up there so for me it's just going to take a second here to restart and i'll be back when it is all right so you'll see it's about to boot up and for me my motherboard requires me to click the delete key on my keyboard in order to enter the boot menu for my for my specific motherboard. As you can see, this is the boot menu. I clicked on the delete key on my keyboard in order to enter this. I have the uh, ASRock B760M. That would be my motherboard. This would be different for you. You would have a different motherboard perhaps. So the process would be different. You'd have to click maybe F11 or F8 to enter your boot menu. Mine is just the end of the delete key right here on the, on the boot logo screen where it says ASRock for me. I just click delete and it shows me this. Right now, this could be different for you, but the process is relatively the same. The UI looks different, but it will be the same. Usually, again, it's the same delete key for you. It should be the same. Um, it could be different, but that's not always the case. Just bear with me here. Now, once you get this screen, you want to head on over to advanced mode, and you'll see the screen. So uh, when you click on boot over here, you'll see that uh, your you'll see your CSM compatibility support module. You want to open that and you want to make sure CSM is disabled. It's like so, disabled. If this is enabled, like so, if it's like this, you just want to click on disabled. Then you want to head on over to security and you'll see secure boot. You just want to select that and this should be set to enabled and secure boot mode should be set to standard. Once you've done these steps, just ensure that you've done that in that order that you disabled CSM first in boot. You went over to boot first, you disabled CSM. Then you go over to security and you enable secure boot. Click on it, then you enable enabled standard, just like so. Once you've done that, head on over to exit, top right corner here, and you want to click on save changes and exit. Right? I have I have no need to do that, so I'm just gonna click, click on escape, discard changes and exit. All good. So that would be how to boot your computer in secure mode, and that'll allow you to play Valorant without any more issues. I hope you guys have found this video useful and um, I'll catch you guys a different time.